Next on Dinner Impossible, Robert takes on his most intense mission yet. Talk about Dinner Impossible. This has been a ridiculous. Robert has just seven innings to serve 200 people a gourmet meal using only the food in the stadium. It's all frozen. That's a ballpark. But before Robert can start to cook, he must do something he has never done before. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Have you ever seen an English guy make a real fool of himself? But once he's in the kitchen, things go from bad to worse. The meat is full of water. It's absolutely, I won't serve that. My name's on it. I cut the top of my finger Ouch. down. And time is definitely not on his side. I'm sorry if you struck out. What you're about to see is real. Chef Robert Irvine has no knowledge of the challenge he is about to face. Robert has tackled some of the toughest culinary challenges in the world. But can he conquer this one? Good morning, Robert. This evening, the Chicago White Sox will play the New York Yankees in one of the most anticipated games of the season. Your special skills are urgently required. You must proceed immediately to U.S. Cellular Stadium in Chicago, where your mission will be revealed. When you arrive at the ballpark, you must don a White Sox jersey and walk onto the field to receive your mission. Will you be up to the challenge, Robert? Or will this be dinner? Impossible. I had no idea what I was doing here. I was told to come to the stadium, put on a jersey, and walk out onto the field. I've cooked all over the world for kings, for queens, and presidents. But on these missions, I never know what I'm doing. And for a chef, that's the scariest feeling in the world. Robert. Hey, Robert. <laughs> yeah, Bob here. I'm Nasa my name is Chicago White Sox. Welcome to the stadium. Your mission today is with everybody in this section during the seven inning stretch using nothing but food from the stadium. This different mission, because your deadline is how fast the game is going. Good luck, <laughs> and your clock start right now. And Robert, don't strike out. Wow, that was pretty wild. The manager of the White Sox just gave me my mission over the Jumbotron. Now the clock was already ticking. I needed to sprint to see what my kitchen looked like. You got it. Here's where you're gonna be cooking. To help me in the kitchen, I brought my guy Dave, but I had no idea who the former White Sox player was. This is Ron Kittle, a 1983 Rookie of the Year for the Chicago White Sox. Former White Sox player, and I'm here to make sure this challenge gets done. The chef doesn't understand that it could basically take 45 minutes for seven innings or two hours for seven innings. So he's got to really hump it up, get it done, and uh, understand the progress of the game. All right, Robert, so now we're in our commissary, which is where every piece of food that we serve in this ballpark comes out of. All right. But I got to tell you, I've spent too much time with you already. I got to go do all some other stuff. Here's a list of everything we carry. Have at it. And then you have to get it back up those stairs into the concession stand to cook. See ya. See ya. All right, guys, get me some hamburgers. I need, uh, you go ahead and get the, leave that there, get the corn tortillas. How many you got there? Now I'm just looking for whatever they got to try and make a menu. This is no good to me because I don't have time to read it. I have no clue what I'm doing right now, literally. It's all frozen, man. <laughs> we having a party! Woo! Come on, Ronnie, catch it! This was a crazy way to make a menu. <laughs> if you can throw it, I can catch it. I just needed to grab everything I could find and get it upstairs as quickly as possible so I could put it together and start cooking. Any rolls down there? Hey, did dipping dots melt? We'll take one of these. Oh. Yeah, we'll take one of them. Take them out there. We'll put Where'd some that back guy in. Go? Coming through. We have any smoked salmon? Uh, not in this ballpark. No. Margarita mix. Margarita mix. I don't know. I have no clue, but we're taking one. I got to take it up. We got to take it up 15 flights. Good. Justin, you look like a strong guy, man. What are you up to now? He's up to carrying all our stuff. You hang around five minutes, buddy. You're going to help me carry all this up. Oh, crazy. Crazy. My mission is to feed 200 fans during the seventh inning stretch of the White Sox game. But before I can start cooking, I'm throwing the first pitch. But I've never thrown a baseball before. I can't believe my first time is going to be in front of a packed baseball stadium. This is a big deal to me. You know, presidents do this, and it's an honor that I get a chance to do it too. You're going to walk out to the mound right out there. John Danks is going to catch it for you. Nicole was making it all sound so easy, but I was so nervous inside, I couldn't even hear what she was saying. Please. Welcome to the mound, Robert Irvine, world-renowned chef and star of Dinner Impossible. There'll be 
throwing out our first pitch today. Good luck on your mission, Robert. I walk onto the mound and they announce me. I've got the Sox hat on, I've got the Irvine shirt. I'm feeling pretty good. 30,000 people, I'm going to do this. Let's go to the instant replay. But hey, what can I tell you? I'm a chef, not a pitcher. Probably one of the most exhilarating things in my life. Now I have to go and cook, so excuse me. As I was heading back to the kitchen, I heard the national anthem. That means it's game time, and I've only got seven innings to cook this meal. Right, here's what we got. I just went in the storeroom, I just picked everything there was. Now we've got to create a menu from what we have. It's all frozen. It's all frozen, that's a ballpark. It's all ballpark. It is what it is. We've got to defrost it, slice it, cut it, whatever. This is all standard ballpark stuff, and they need to find a way to make it gourmet. Just, no, just give me, give me what you've got. We've got the beef, we've got the onions, we've got the tortillas, bratwurst, corned beef, Polish sausage. All right, next, next, okay, next. next. We've got beautiful chicken, we can do chicken skewers, uh, chicken, chicken wings. wings. We've got chicken wings. I took all the food we had, and all I always had to do was figure out unique things to do with it. Um, 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 we're going to do the meatballs in the foil. Meatballs in the foil, awesome. All right, chicken rubbed, we'll figure out how we do that gotcha. on sticks. I hadn't even started cooking yet, and half an inning was over already. What's this? We really gotta move, we really gotta move. Oh, the chimichanga things or whatever. The kitchen was so tiny, there was barely room for the three of us, let alone all the food we needed. We kept the food stacked up outside, then I would send Ron outside to get the food we needed whenever we were ready to do the next menu item. What are you starting on first? I'm getting the corned beef going in the water. What about the chimichangas? That's the biggest I'll job. I'll start that right now. Ronnie! I'm right behind you. What do you need? You are responsible for making sure I know where the innings are. I got you. What do you get us into here, Robert? I have no clue. We just got to figure it out. This is called ballpark food at its best. Ron, Ron! The second inning is just starting. Just started? So what's that, the second That's inning? to do. Holy shoot. In a ballpark, chicken is usually deep fried or served in a sandwich. And I've got to figure out something gourmet-ish to do with it. Trouble is, everything is absolutely frozen, and you can see what I've got to work with. All right. I'm going to give you a special by serving the chicken with a gourmet tomato-based sauce. I've got pizza sauce in here, I've got peppers, onions, and I'm going to use this uh, when it warms up. Everything in these uh, places, as you can see, is frozen. I needed to do a dessert, and I don't have much to work with, so I'm going to try something crazy. I'm playing the nutty professor right now because I don't know what is going to happen to it. <laughs> try that. Try that. No, you got to try it. Run! Run! Come here and try this. I made a sherbet out of fruity dipping dots and margarita mix. Woohoo! I like it. That's pretty good, no? Pretty good. All right, that's what we do for dessert. <laughs> Ice cream pops, and we got some tequila and margarita mix with no liquor. It's Talk about setup for failure. This is dinner impossible. Dinner impossible. Dinner impossible. But you know what? We're going to make it, because I'm going to make it. I'm cooking a gourmet ballpark meal of the Chicago White Sox game. I'm feeding 200 Chicago police officers and their families, and I only have until the seventh inning stretch. I don't know much about baseball, but this game is flying so fast, I don't know if we're going to get it done. They tell me this game is becoming a pitching duel, which means no one is scoring, and the outs are coming way, way too fast. Hi, Cairo, beautiful play. Jeff, yes. half of the fourth is done. We have three more innings. Well, and the way he's going through them, that's what, 20 minutes? Could be. Tell him to slow down a little bit, will you? Talk about dinner impossible. This is dinner ridiculous. Hey, good news, bad news. Five to one Yankees, one more inning. We got about uh, six outs. What's six outs mean? 20 some odd minutes at the most. 20 minutes? I had only six outs left, but I still had to work on the barbecue beef sandwiches. I had to get the chicken skewers done, and I had to finish off the Swedish meatballs. If the game keeps going this fast, there is no way that police officer John Williams and his friends will have their food done in time. All right, Chef, I got some more pans for you. Beautiful, thank you. But I have bad news, too. What? You got three outs left, Woo! so you have to have the food up thank there you. and ready. Run! Run! Whoa. What are you doing? Cut your run. You got three outs. All right, what does that mean? Give that me... means... Let's go. It gives me what? That means we should be starting to take stuff up there. All right, here's, what, all right, here's what I want you to do. I want you to take one of everything and start putting it in a chafing dish. We got one out, Robert. We got one out. That's it. We're it's, going down, brother. We got to get this stuff out. It's stuff is out there waiting on you. Just when I thought for sure I was going to fail, I caught a major break. And we'll have a pitching change. 
So as they out, Buck Fitz will depart. Logan comes on in. They're changing pitchers. Yeah, but that doesn't help me any. They're yeah. changing the team. I got to that. Apparently, when they change pitchers, it can take up to 10 minutes. The game was flying by. There was only one out left until the seventh inning stretch. I was really afraid I was going to fail this mission. Take that stuff up there. I'll bring the chicken up. Yeah, Leave the chicken. Yes, sir. Take that up. Attention, White Sox fans. It's time for the seventh inning stretch. I need you to stop. You have to I'm move. sorry, it's the seventh inning stretch. You stuck out.